bass guitar, the foundation of a song. Do you want your bass to sound like Carol Kay, Flea, or Thundercat? It's not as easy as just plugging your bass straight into a direct box. When using a DI, find one that matches the sound you're looking for. A tube DI for that fat, smooth sound? Solid state for that more aggressive bite? Passive to capture a natural sound? Or active to add that extra pow, 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 coming off the strings? Now, let's talk compression. Use compressors like Waves LA-2A, a DBX-160, or an 1176. Try starting your compression settings somewhere between a three and a six to one ratio with a medium attack and a quick release. And LA-2A makes it a lot easier with a fixed attack and release. Squash those peaks down three to five dB. Leave any heavy processing and crazy compression for mixing. When EQing the bass, remember, a lot of the sound is already there, so don't mess with it too much. A favorite around here is the Jack Joseph Puig Tech, a great emulation of the Pull Tech Tube EQ. Add a little bump on the top at 3K, a little on the bottom at 160, and boom! Now, let's add an amp to the mix. Send your original bass signal to an amp like a B15 or an Ampeg SVT. Combine the two signals. Be sure to record them on separate tracks. If I have the option of tracking with an amp, I like the Sennheiser 421 or the RE20 right up on the cone. Try a condenser mic, two to four feet away from the cone. Check the phase. Some engineers are known for their speed. Others are known for their clothes. Make sure you're known for your big fat bass. Mixing.